Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody! Yeah, this is the Ramble and I'm Alex Bennett. And, well, we go until midnight tonight. Larry Bubbles Brown lives in San Francisco, California. And uh, um, let's see, there's human feces all over San Francisco, isn't there? Uh, there is, and they they did clean it up for a week when the uh, <laughs> kami the kami from China was here. Yeah, oh, and uh, China. they actually they actually removed the ho- the homeless people actually disappeared. No one knows where they put them. Yeah. Now they're back. Yeah. Oh, really? How did they get? Rid Seriously, of no one knows where they went. They they rounded them up, and then they they cleaned the streets up for the kami, and then uh, oh, he was here in the yeah. Now, where you live, which is down in, I hate to say the name, Cow Hollow. Uh-huh. People always say, Cow Hollow? I, I, mean, I bet there were cows there once, I would imagine. There were, yes. And I would imagine it's a hollow. But you can't, I never knew what a hollow was. I never knew what a hollow was either. I don't know. But anyway, so uh, you... Um, um, you live down there in the marina where I lived, basically. Uh, right. Is there that problem there? Are homeless camping out in the marina or on the marina green or, you know, wherever? Or, or is that just other places in San Francisco? There's about, there's a, there are a few homeless here, and they tend to get them off. Sometimes they'll camp out in the Safeway parking lot. And they'll have their tents there for a day or two, and then they're gone. Are they forced out by Safeway? I guess Safeway is a grocery chain, folks. Um, do they do they push them out or what? Uh, I they must, yeah. And they have, uh, and there is a lot. I was walking into Safeway the other day, and I see this guy come. He's got like four cases of beer, and he looked a little odd. And, he ambles out, and then uh, <laughs> five seconds later, there's two security guards come running after him. <laughs> oh boy, not fun anymore, huh? Yeah. No, because you got the uh, the law out here is if you steal less than nine hundred and fifty dollars, they're not going to prosecute. They, you. they did that here in New York too, you know. So I went up to my gross my uh, uh, my pharmacy. And I'm walking through the uh, through the store, through the you know the, the drug store, and there's nothing on the shelves. And I, yeah, it's all locked up now. Well, now it's all locked up, but it wasn't locked up at that point. And I I said to the my pharmacist, I said, "What's with nothing on the shelves?" And he says, "It all gets stolen, but we can't do anything about it because they won't prosecute them." And we're not going to go after them because we don't want to get them to, like, you know, pull out a gun and kill us if they want to. You know, so I said, well, then, of course, they'd be guilty of something you could charge them with. But, you know, I mean, just (laughs) really amazing. Um, You know, I'm not one of these conservatives who goes lock them all up and so on and so forth. But you're letting petty crime be gotten away with. And so they're going to do it, you know. So they yeah, walk it into the a very uncivil society. Then. And well, they walk into the grocery store, and the next thing you know, you know, all this stuff is getting, uh, you know, uh, stolen because nobody can do, do anything about it. Uh, and I feel sorry for you know I feel sorry for the the, the chain, which is Rite Aid, which just went filed for bankruptcy, if you may notice and uh you know it's 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 not it's not nice it's not good and the people who are stealing are not if they were hungry or something like that i'd say okay but they're not hungry these are just punks who just want to steal what they go into uh, union square in san francisco 
Hard, mm-hmm. Hardly a store there anymore, right? They've, they've, they've closed 17 stores. Uh, Nordstrom's gone. A uh, bunch of high-end stuff I never heard of. They're closed. So. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't want their windows to get broken, and they smash and grab and do whatever they do, and they do it with great impunity. And this and it's not- actually happening in the suburbs now. I heard there's one of those out in Danville last week, which is a kind of pretty upscale place. Wow, wow, well, you know, maybe I'm getting to be an old man. I, 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 when I was younger, I might have excused this, saying, "Oh, these are probably poor people who need the, uh, the, you know, the, the stuff from a drugstore or whatever." But it's not the case. These are just, you know, punks who know they can get away with yeah. it. You know, and why they steal it? I mean, where do they get rid of this stuff? You know? I guess they've got these vast fencing operations. They seem to make uh, money with it. So. Really? They can go yeah. somewhere and fence them? Yeah. It's... Wow. wow. Well, I'm not in that business, so I don't know how you fence it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's the business to go into these days. Maybe podcasts are second. You know, so. Oh, boy, am I sick of podcasts. You know, everybody in the world does a podcast. They have no talent. They do a podcast. You know, uh, they're an out-of-work movie actor. They do a podcast. But very few of them actually make money, all right? I don't. Mine doesn't. That's for damn sure. Um, There are people, okay, who make a lot of money off of doing stuff on YouTube. And, in fact, it's their only income. And there is this there's this little girl, she's Ukrainian. When she started she was about ten. She's about fifteen now. Uh rather cute, you know, cute, uh, and plays the violin very well. I mean, she she's just kind of was self taught in the beginning and now she's, you know, playing classical music and has teachers and everything like that. And she does these videos where she's out on a, in a street, like Santa Monica, and she sets up and starts playing her violin. And they videotape these, and then they put them on, on YouTube. Do you know how much she's worth right now? Million? Try five million. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... For every million, people should look at this. For every million views you get, you get four thousand dollars from YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, she gets some where she's got six million viewers, and you go, "Wow!" You know how much money is she making? She's making a fortune. That's how you do it. And uh, holy Christ. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to, you know, but, hey, I'm doing a podcast. Why? Well, I, the, the movie jobs were drying up, you know. So, <laughs> so you know, uh, you, well, you do Dana Carvey's podcast, or have you? Uh, Not uh, since he went to the show with David Spade. But yeah. We were doing it, but, yeah. you know. How's he doing, by the way? Have you talked to him? I haven't talked to him. I'm kind of letting him just... Uh, be in solitude for a while, but I hope he's okay. But it's uh, his, uh, such a terrible thing to go through. His uh, son uh, died of a drug overdose. Yes. Now I heard a story. I got. I guess I heard this from Slayton that Mark Pitta, comic who's been on this show, by the way, in case you may remember, um, was it was a good friends with Dana. Okay. And good friends with his son. And his son was making right. a movie, I think. Was producing they were a making a movie. In fact, uh, Dana had called me two days before Dex died, and uh, he was telling me about this movie they were making, and I guess Dex wrote it, and uh, Pitta had a part in it, and uh, I guess they had Eric Roberts in it, and they were just... I think he died the day before the last day of shooting. Right, but that was the day Pitta was supposed to shoot. And he was supposed to pick Pitta up, I think, on the way to the. Uh, I don't know if he's shoot. supposed to pick him up. That's not what I heard. But the story I heard from Slayton was, he showed up and there was no 
Dana's son, uh, Dex, I think was his name. Is that yeah. It? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 it turned out he had died. Yeah. Uh, and so the movie, I guess, I don't know what's going to happen to the movie, but, you know, but that's so sad. I mean, I, Dane is such a nice guy. and uh, well, The best, yeah. And yeah. then they go through that. And the kid was, the kids were so polite, too. They're just the nicest kids in the world, so I just feel horrible. Yeah, yeah. But th- didn't the other dr- son have a drug problem, too? I Someone told me that, but that was ye- like years ago. Yeah, so. yeah. And um, uh, I talked to Pitta briefly, and they they said no one had any idea that Dex had any drug issue now. So could have been, you know. It, what happens is sometimes people will just do it, like for the first time, and it'll kill them. You know. Yeah, someone told me that because you're not used to it. Then again, and yeah, and you don't know what you're buying either. You know, there could be fentanyl in it. There could be a lot of other things. You know, that's I don't why, know what fentanyl is, but apparently it's killing a lot of people. That's why all drugs should be legalized. And here's the perfect example where somebody goes out and buys heroin, and they don't know what they're getting. If it were legal, they'd know what they were getting. And that's the problem. That was uh, one of the reasons I never ever did drugs. Well, you never know what's in the drug you're buying. You don't even know... Buying from some shady guy in an alley, what could go wrong? You know? Yeah, I mean, you don't know if uh, if if the coke you're buying doesn't have fentanyl in it. You know, right. some of these drug dealers just want to uh, cut it down and not uh, use the full drug, and so they put something else in there to pep it up. And in this in, in this era, it's fentanyl, which is a very dangerous drug. You know, probably a very good painkiller if somebody is ill but and it's prescribed by a doctor but when you know amateurs are just mixing it in with drugs i'm sorry you know okay you so know, that's so it is a painkiller i it is a legitimate drug uh yeah oh yeah oh yeah it okay. is i mean more and more doctors are not giving it out because people will go well, i'm not taking fentanyl so they don't prescribe it you know I mean, my wife's on painkillers, and she has a doctor that watches her constantly to make sure she doesn't get hooked on it and things like that, you know, and that it's going directly to take care of the pain. So, hey, so listen, uh, you got some, you went out and you have a book there, right? I have a book, uh, an old almanac. An old almanac. And, and, and I've got my favorite page is Entertainment Personalities of the Past. Yes, entertainment personality. You all, you always know who they are. I could, uh, I could give you. Uh, how about this? Guess within five years of how old he was when he died. Guess within uh, five the, years of how old he was when he died. Yes. Okay. Like we'll start off with we'll start off with Richard Burton. Who? Richard Burton. I think Burton was, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around seventy. Fifty-nine, really? Very nineteen twenty-five to nineteen eighty-four. What did he die of? Does it say? Uh, I doesn't say, but I think uh, he was a heavy boozer. Right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. In fact, he 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 and uh, uh, Peter O'Toole was a heavy boozer, and uh, who else? I uh, Elaine was a boozler. No, uh, that uh, that's a bad joke. Anyway, well. <laughs> Like from Ireland, of course they're going to be boozers. Yeah, well, yeah, Richard Harris, another one. I think. Oh yeah, I think he great probably. actors, great drinkers. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's see if I I'm 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 o for one o for one or one for o or whatever. Okay, go ahead. Yul Brynner. He died rather young. I would say he was. I'm going to say sixty. Uh he was seventy. Really. Okay. 1915 to 1985. This is not my day, folks. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, here's one who died young, uh, Victor Buono. <laughs> yeah, he um, he was gay, by the way. Um, he, um, I big think fat guy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with 55. 44. Jeez, I can't win, can I? Forty-four. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, this is oh, he's a very young John Candy. John Candy went, I think, maybe at forty. Forty-four. Yes. No, okay, I got one. Within five. You got years. one. You're here. <laughs> Karen Carpenter. Karen Carpenter. She died of um, of. Uh, uh, what Anorex- do you call it? Not eating. Anorexia. Uh, I'm going to say she was maybe 33. On the button. Really? Boy. 1950 to 1983. Do I get extra points for on the button? You get extra points for that one. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Humphrey Bogart. This is really young when I look at this. Wow, I think a great career. God, he died. Yeah. Bogart, I would say, was fifty-five. Fifty-seven. Yep. Yeah. Well, got it. Got it again. Uh, well, I get to give you this one because you know the old actor is uh, Ward Bond. Oh, well, that I I can't even begin to tell you because. I would say Ward Bond lived to be in at least into his seventies, if not eighties. Fifty-seven. Really? Really? Massive. Yeah. I think Ma- he died of a heart attack. Heart attack. Okay. Gee, that's amazing. Cause a lot of these actors, uh, like Bogart, like Ward Bond, and so on, died much younger than actors are dying today. Number one, because I don't think we had the um, the medicine that we have now. But on top of that, uh, they were you know they were smoking like crazy. Oh, and Bogart smoking in every scene. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'll tell you, when I first started smoking, most people never saw anything wrong with it. There was n- no health hazard involved. Uh, you know, I mean, people would smoke them and say these things are killing me. You know. But uh, all of a sudden, they started do, doing the studies and seeing that there was a link between cigarettes and cancer. So by the time we reached, so a lot of people had not reached that age where the, uh, the uh, cigarettes caught up with them. And finally, around uh, the uh, 60s, it was starting to catch up with them. And everybody began to realize that smoking did not mean you were going to have a long life. So, yeah, you know, a lot of people blame the the cigarette companies who did hide that fact from the public. Uh, but for years, they didn't know this either. You know, they just figured they were making cigarettes and people were smoking cigarettes. Uh, how come so many of them die? We don't know. They just uh, didn't drink enough milk or something. You know, but the the cigarette companies early on didn't know. But when they did know, they didn't do anything about it. That, that's what they're guilty of. Anyway, another one, another dead person. Go ahead. John Belushi. Oh, really young. I'd say 33. On the button. Really? 19, 1949 to 1982. And I'm not saying this out of any knowledge, folks. I just, you know, the fact is that I just assumed he died young, you know. Uh, but okay, another one. Clara Bow. Clara Bow. Clara Bow died. I think she died older. Um, I'm saying seventies, seventy something, seventy five, sixty, sixty. That nineteen oh nineteen oh five to sixty five. It's funny. I was I was watching a documentary on her several weeks ago, and I guess I didn't pay attention to how old she was when she died. Um, the sexiest woman ever in the movies, just a very special person, I think. And she didn't realize it, and she hated being in movies, and it's, it, talkies actually. Um, in fact, she was so this hated talkies so much that when she was there and a microphone would like be down towards her face she'd start hitting it yeah Yeah. and she made some good talkies it wasn't that her voice wasn't uh she had a very cute voice it was a brooklyn accent and uh she uh, she did musicals she sang very well and danced very well 
Uh, but she hated it. She just hated it. She loved silent films, but she hated talkies. And so she married a guy by the name of Rex Bell, I believe was his name. And he was a cowboy movie star for a short time. And they moved together, I think, to Arizona, where he had a ranch. And uh, because he was a Western movie star. And he ran for, I don't know, for Senate or something like that. Or maybe it was, was it the Senate in Arizona or did he run for Senate? But he became a politician. And oh, okay. uh, she, she didn't like that. So she eventually moved out and wound up moving to New York. Just had a very cheap apartment in New York. And um, the night she died, she was watching a movie with Gary Cooper, I think, directed by Fleming. What was his name? The guy who uh, who did uh, uh, Wizard of Oz and what do you call it? Uh, uh, Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind all in the same year. And she, these were two people that she had had affairs with. She was with Fleming, I think, for a couple of couple of years and did Cooper once or twice because they had worked in a film. But, you know, she just... she And she hated Hollywood, and Hollywood hated her because she wasn't... She was, had a, she was a Brooklyn kid, you know, had kind of a Brooklyn thing about her, and that was not fancy enough for Hollywood, you know. So she would stay at home on Saturday nights and just uh, invite friends over to play cards. She... Oh. Very, very, but a wonderful, wonderful performer. And I don't know if you've ever seen any movies with her in it, but man, she was, she she gives me a boner, you know. <laughs> and I'll it, have to check her out. <laughs> she's my kind of woman. Okay. You know? Yeah. Uh, I think the sexiest woman ever in films. Uh, wow. So. Okay, give me another one. Okay, another one that died fairly young, John Cassavetes. Ooh, that's a rough one. Uh, Cassavetes, um, wasn't he? A, he was a smoker, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say early fifties. Uh, Sixty. Sixties. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Lon Chaney. Oh, Lon Chaney. He went of a, a throat thing. Uh, oh. And he died. I think he was somewhere around 47. On the button. Okay. Got that. That was, that was a good 1883 to 1930. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was, uh, he, he just died of, it wasn't anything like smoking or anything like that. He just had a throat problem. And um, his parents were deaf, by the way. Both of his parents. Oh. And so he could do signing. So when he started having the throat problems, he simply started signing to people, you know. Uh, but it was it was a you know he he was he was a, a real great, you know. But he never he never did much in sound films. He only did about two, maybe three sound films, and then he was dead. So, but you know, his son was uh, became an actor and did The Wolf Man. But he was nominated, I think, for an Academy Award. Didn't win it, but he was nominated uh, for *Of Mice and Men*. He played Lenny. Right. Yeah. 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 So he, he did. Could, when asked to act, he could do it. You know. Anyway, next. Montgomery Clift. He died young. Very young. Yeah. He died after making. Um, he made one film after um, that Houston film with Marilyn Monroe. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. He made, the Misfits. What? Misfits, the yeah. The Misfits. That was not his last film. He had one last film after that. But do you know that everybody in that film was dead within a year or two years? Marilyn Monroe? Course, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Clark Gable died shortly after the filming. Marilyn died the next year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Who anyway, else was uh, in so that? anyway, that was a good movie. So M Montgomery Clift. 
I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say late 40s. 40, 46. Yeah. So, yeah. You're doing good. I did fine. Hey, listen, I've all, we're also running out of time, so I don't have to, okay. I don't have to sweat <laughs> through these anymore. But I love these little things that... Yeah, and you you so, and plus you always know a lot about the actors. That's why I like doing these. Yeah, yeah. Well, I you know, and you had some good actors today. Anyway, hey, listen, that's it for the day. Uh, have yourself a good, happy holiday, and we'll see you on the other side of that. Well, yes, we're looking forward to a bright, shiny new year. Yes, we are. <laughs> bright, nothing but positivity. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, I always come to you for positivity. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Larry Bubbles Brown. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yes. Thanks, Bubs. Thanks. We'll see you next year. Okay. How are you? How are you? Okay. I'm not okay, but that's another story. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, got some lousy news today. Lousy news today. Um, I got to pay the 4200 bucks. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you know that whole deal. I've been talking about it. Yeah. So now uh, Trump and I have something in common. We both dislike the same judge. Anyway, let's get uh, talking to some people here. Uh, let me see here. I, first of all, I have to. Boy, I am so out of it that I can't. Uh, I can't do anything here. Oh, here we go. I see what I got to do. Oh boy, I'm just. I'm just. I'm so out of it because of this news I got today, and it just, eh, just threw me off. So I will try and do a program here. If not, you guys can just talk, right? And uh, here comes uh, some of those people that we. Put on our program. There's Charlie Wallace. He's uh, about to sign in, and Brian Neary, and uh, and Josh. Hello, you everybody. How are you this evening? How you declare you... bankruptcy? Yeah, I'll declare bankruptcy. <laughs> right. Well, you know, forty two hundred dollars for me is a lot of money. Okay, so <laughs> it's a lot of money for most people. I yeah. don't know. I just uh, we're going to. Uh, I guess from what I read, because my lawyer doesn't really communicate me with me as well as he should, uh, that he's going to appeal it. So, you know, I guess you can appeal it fairly easily. So we'll see. Could be appeals. Might think that it was wrong, wrong decision. So <laughs> anyway, so the guy now has twenty nine hundred twenty nine thousand two hundred dollars of my money. Right? What a ripoff. What an absolute ripoff. But what can yeah. I say? What can I say? Um, so, anyway. Uh, hello, J uh, Josh. How are you this evening? I'm doing good. How are you? Fine. It's just, I, I'm so out of it that I couldn't figure out how to do stuff. Like, how do I start this? And how do I start that? I just kind of went into a blank here. But I will try and wake up and feel better and talk to you folks and you know and who knows santa might show up tonight <laughs> there's a chance there's a chance i don't want to force santa to show up but i just think he's might show up um i know i know a little girl who would love to see santa <laughs> no no pressure no pressure but didn't we do it last year and and, yeah. and she yeah. went that's not santa yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was already pointing last night when we said Santa. She was pointing at Kevin last night. <laughs> I, know, I know a little girl who would love to see Santa. Oh, oh no, no Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. We had so I hope for you. And, and, yeah. and she went, that's not Santa. <laughs> she was. She was oh, that's Santa. oh, no, that's. Oh. Okay. Is he okay now? I think Seems he, to be. I think he found it. Um, anyway. Um, last night when we said Santa shoes pointing at Kevin last night. <laughs> 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 a little girl who loves to see Santa. Oh, 
Do you hear yeah. that, Jeff? Yeah. Oh, I hope for you. Mm-hmm. Jeff, whatever you did last night, do again. Yeah, I'm almost there. Just, just shut down the browser that you were watching. Just don't ever have the browser on when you come on. I know. I, I watch on my phone. I watch the YouTube on my phone, and I have this ready to go. So when you guys come on, I just lower the volume. That's all. Right. Right. But it just uh, just go kill your browser before you even come on. Jeff, mm-hmm. just set yourself up on uh, on uh, on uh, uh, Zoom, and when I bring you on, you'll notice that everybody's here, right? You know. Send you a plastic gun to kill your browser. <laughs> Why is that that color? Is that it, like a Barbie gun? Yep. Yeah, it's it's a plastic toy gun. Really? That's so you can tell at a glance it's a it's, toy. Yeah, well, you can tell at a glance it's a toy, but it's just... We use it in training, but I just, you know, I just thought I should send one to Jeff so he could shoot his brow. I, I have a Colt 45. I just painted that color. It's funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I have a couple of them that are painted silver. Oh. Trouble is they really shoot bullets, so. <laughs> really shoot bullets. Yeah. So, anyway. So, uh, where are we? So, Hi. Hmm? Now, this is just a toy. You get $8 on Amazon, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, did you see the thing uh, last night with uh, with uh, uh, Chuck Farnham, the backpack he had? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, was that, that was cool, cool or what? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking of getting one of those for Marjorie. Well, what is it? I missed it. Well, then you missed it because you never pay attention to the show you aren't on, the part of the show you aren't on. <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch it again. I guess, yeah. I'm, I I caught the last few minutes of the, anyhow. The last few minutes of what? Uh, of Chuck on the other uh, the other day. I've been having internet problems, so it's just. Is that your I'm, excuse? I see. Okay. Seems when so. we get on the air, though, you're just fine. Yeah. Well, I, when I do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't. Yeah. So. Nailed him, didn't I, Josh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, Josh? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? What you What you got planned for the Christmas uh, weekend? Anything? Uh, me? I'm not gonna do anything in particular. I will watch a lot of NFL football and maybe uh, work in a little research around uh, some of the dead time. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. You like doing that, don't you? You really love doing the research. Uh, yeah. Well, it's for my, you know, the deal that I'm working on and committed to. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that'll still be a while, but I'm pretty far along, and you know, yeah, it, yeah, getting it going. But it's very slow. You know, I'm going through a lot of stuff that's. Not had much uh, done before, and what was done wasn't really all that great. So it's a lot of original work, and uh, it's just is when I find things that I think aren't right, I have to run down basically every single thing that's been written that I can find mm-hmm. before. So yeah. I have to buy books, and you know, then wait for those, and some of them are really old. I've got to find them, and et cetera, et cetera, and oftentimes what you find is the first person to write about it got it wrong Mm -hmm. um for whatever reason and then the people who came along and wrote after didn't really do what i'm doing and they just repeated the inaccuracy so yeah well painstaking but it's worth it yeah yeah so uh, are you going for another degree you know uh i did yeah so um this in the beginning will serve as the capstone for that that other graduate degree yeah um and then i put off the capstone to it for a long time so that i could do this huge research project and simultaneously with that while that's on hold yeah i was earning what's a, a graduate certificate which will not have a capstone and all that it's just you take a few courses and you get a certificate and it you know, you just get a certificate, which does give you enough credits to technically be eligible to teach in that particular subject. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So I was doing that to put the capstone off for a year or so. Do you ever want to wind up teaching, or are you just doing this because you wanted the accomplishment of doing it? Well, yeah, I would like to, you know, really full time, um, and we could afford to later, uh, but it is very difficult to get into. Mm -hmm. um, they've made it very difficult for you to do that as a career change. Okay. If you didn't choose it from the get go, it's very hard. Um, it's not impossible. It's just very hard. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, and... you know, I found out my wife. My wife has a master's degree. Oh yeah. 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 She had to have one in order to teach. Yeah, yeah. you do. You know, for undergraduates. You know. Uh, um, so. And she only do. taught yeah. for a little time. You know, it wasn't yeah. like she was spending a whole bunch of time teaching. Yeah. 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 And I mean, I guess I should say technically you don't, but that is what everybody requires. Yeah. It's not the law or anything. As I a mean, matter of fact, as a matter of fact, she did teach. And the reason she taught was that if she taught a certain amount of time, like a couple of years, maybe, mm -hmm. it paid off her, her, her college. Oh, there are some programs mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in yeah. particular cases and... Uh, you know, there's some public service ones and, you know, there, yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to teach, uh, anything in a public school system or anything like that. Cause it's very, it's, it just looks very aggravating and very political and, yeah. I mean, you know, it looks like a hassle to be honest with you. Yeah. But, um, you know, I would like to teach the college level to undergraduates, just, mm -hmm. you know, just regular uh, courses, um, whatever, you know, and then work on my stuff. But, uh, I really would just like to do it on the side for a few years to make extra money and build a lot of experience so that, you know, I was a, a good candidate when it came time to eventually, you know, like when my house is paid for and things I could transition to it. Yeah. Time, cause I wouldn't care about how much money I made anymore. Yeah. It's very difficult to, to break in. Uh, at least in the field that I'm in, I've been told that in other fields it's not as bad. Yeah. Uh, you know, but I don't. I'm not interested in that. So yeah. I mean, it's. Well, anyway, uh, I mean, I was just interested to find out about that. I'm sure the audience isn't because it's not the kind of thing. The, it's really not the kind of thing the audience finds interesting, but I find it fascinating because I have no, yeah. I have no education to speak of. High school. That's it. See you later. I'm going into radio. You know. I mean, that's sometimes it's the best way to do. Well, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I did spend. I went to a junior college for about a couple of years, and I just thought it was a waste of my time because I was already working in radio, you know. Yeah. And so I pursued my career as opposed to pursuing a degree. So, yeah, there are certain. Uh... Well, look, I mean, that's sort of what I did. I mean, I didn't go to college when I graduated high school. I left for several years, and I went back. You know, that's the way it oh. should be, though. I've often said Ooh. that when people are through with high school, they should then take about three or four years off, either working or doing something, or even just traveling. And Ooh. then, when you're like 21, 22, you have a better idea of what you want to do with your life. What yeah, you I waited even a little longer. I think I was like 23 or 24 even. I'd been out six or seven, eight years when I started. Oh, wait a minute. Brian was giving me the no sign on that one. You... Where? My son? Yeah. Almost 18 years old. He's playing games in there right now for like 10 hours today. Yeah. This week, uh, two weeks off, he'll be in there like 16 hours every day playing games. So... <laughs> I'm not going to have him fucking being in there for two years sitting there playing games while he's <laughs> playing. Well, 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 yeah, I mean, and I, but I guess to Alex's point, when I was 18, uh, I moved out of the house and I had a job. So, full time. Been here. And I lived in my own apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Alan? How about military service for the first couple of years? Well, well please take him today. Teach you, yeah. teach you. Hey, no, he's playing game, guns with, you know, games with guns. Get him a real gun. Why military yeah. service? Uh, because they can teach you skills and teach you how yeah. to survive oh, yeah. in oh, life. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Teach you how to survive in life. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Have all this uh, well, how to, how to survive in life. Use a gun. No, forget yeah. about yeah. the. 
forget about the fire. You you went you were in the military and you didn't you shot in the in in boot camp. You, you don't have to be. Oh, you know. Santa's here. <laughs> no, it's not the real Santa. Don't bring Adrian in. Ho ho, freaking ho! It looks, no. it looks like Santa with an afro. Is what it looks like. Hey, my son has all this experience on Fortnite and Valorant, so get him out of the... No, why don't you get him a job in high tech? No, I'm saying that I just, I just think that to ask a kid, a kid get, goes to school, he graduates, he's 18. Now he goes to college and you say, what do you want to be for the rest of your life? You know, I, I don't think that's the question you ask an 18-year-old kid. Yeah, look... Uh I think there are, a, you know, some, a select few that that may work out for. Well, I knew what I wanted to do when I was 18, and I'm doing it yeah, to this right. day, you know. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying, but I I didn't, I mean, I always knew that I had this interest and it was kind of what I wanted to do, but it just wasn't my path because I just came from a family and all those kind of things where that, that just wasn't, you know, we were worker bees, man, you know. I mean, it was just, mm. that's... It, it's hard to explain, but that's just how it was. But <clears throat> some people do sort of have that for what you're talking about or have this love for things. But I agree, you know, there are a lot of other, most yeah. cases is I don't think they really know what they want and they get into things that are seem popular or that their friend went for, you know, or whatever. I mean, honestly, you know, a lot of these colleges, I mean, early childhood education, nursing, Mm -hmm. I mean, there's they have like the five or six psychology big hitters, and mm -hmm. they put all this money into those. And there are other programs that don't get you know nearly enough support. Yeah, uh, you know, or have mm -hmm. the, you know, and and a lot of these universities are not, um, and not just the big ones, but I mean, all the way on down are not always getting the best people because they're very particular about the like the criteria that they have for the people that they hire and they're not looking nearly enough at like real world experience like mm -hmm. what have yeah. you learned in the so world life. not what is on your diplomas right you know and well they've, they've, taken, they've taken a lot of high school plant programs away like auto shop you know right. some of these programs that kids are interested right. in as a high school student and if you're interested in working on your car, okay. there's well, a pathway well, to that. But let know? me ask a question here. Uh, of all of you here, how many of you went and got a degree in college? Would you raise your hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> of those people, how many people are actually doing what they studied for? Well, I mean, I... <laughs> okay, so... My, my okay. original... <laughs> yeah, my, my undergraduate degree was <laughs> management. And I am a... Uh, oh, okay. Fairly high-ranking manager in a large company. Okay. You know, but oh. after I got that and was working, <clears> I said, "This is not what I want. To do. <laughs> this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life." Right. You know. Right. I mean, at all. But you did know? you know any of you know at eighteen what you wanted to do for the rest of your life? I mean, I did. I knew I wanted to be in show business. Okay. I thought I did. What did you want to be? The oh, first okay. being an astrophysicist. Okay. Well, you. You studied for it. Right, but I ended up working in, in uh, information technology. Yeah. And so, a spy. <laughs> I wanted to be a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I went to vocational school during high school for mm -hmm. electronics, and I worked at Special Physics my junior, senior summer, and I worked at Hill Packard my senior summer in high or sorry, my senior year in high school. Yeah. And then graduated and, and went to electronics electronics and then became you know manufacturing became biotech mm -hmm. yeah i went to a vocational program in high school rather than traditional high school the last mm -hmm. two years because i didn't feel like the last two years of high school had anything to offer me for what i was going to do in my life i mean i didn't need another class in history i fucking i read uh -huh. three books a week you know and mm -hmm. i didn't need uh another honors class in english literature i read dickens and all i mean like i said i i just felt like i already knew all that stuff i mean yeah. you know and, yeah. and when they gave me the test it bared out you know so i said i'm gonna go do something that has something to do with an actual job not just being in high school what did you study for alan uh biotechnology 
uh, biotechnology, microbiology and biology. Okay. Uh, obviously, that didn't work very but, well. No, it didn't work. No. <laughs> See, I, I, I agree that that age, you mm -hmm. know, now that I think about it, I mean, it is not very conducive to people making good decisions for themselves at that age. And they certainly will not probably listen to their parents from people that I've talked to, you know. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it it is, like you said, it is difficult to ask someone who's like 17 to line up the next four or five years of your life and then move right into your career. <laughs> Well, like, for instance, uh, Tony, here's I heard a, what you're talking about. Did you go to college? Briefly, Queens College, but I know what I wanted to be. I joked in one of my classes when they said, what would you like to be when you grow up? I told the teacher a book. Yeah, I'd like to be working in my <laughs> uncle's. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I used to tell Shucky, you make hat boxes? <laughs> yeah, the only guy that's making money is the boss. I said, not me. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Yeah, you know, I went, I was like, yeah, I listened to what you went to junior college. I went, if I would have had to stay in college, I think I would have, and I told this to Shecky and my brother, I think I would have went into the stock market. I like finance, like Shecky did, like with the numbers and like that. I enjoyed that. I still do. Well, I don't yeah. know that Shecky particularly cared about numbers. I mean, he studied to be a banker because that's what his father was. Yeah, he was in finance. So he was, he was, yeah. we was talks about that stuff. Yeah. And he was he was so sharp with everything detailed. So that's what he said. What would you have liked to done? And I was just going to tell you, Alex. I think I would have went into finance. I never like, knew him. I never market. knew him as a numbers guy. You know, he was hard intelligent, Alex, on a lot of things. Well, no, but I, I never knew For him detail. as as a guy who uh, you know who was into into you know finance and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. But that's what he studied for. Yeah, and that is that's what his father did. Yeah, I always found that interesting when we talked his about brother, that. I have done that. His brother was more into finance yeah. than than Shecky ever was. So, yeah, really, like a wizard. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's, I, I always mean, found that interesting, like with tech companies. I like the stock market and stuff. I mean, about the I time like I, I got to it. know him, and that was forty five years ago, he was already with with the film stuff, you know, uh, and collecting. Yeah, films that was amazing. Yeah. You know what I found, Alex? I got to send it to you. I don't mean to talk, bring Shecky up, but it was on my mind with my mom. Is that when we first became friends, thanks to you, he sent me a spreadsheet of all the trips he went on on the boats. And he had like the names of the, the captains really? and what he liked. It was actually, I was looking at it. It was like really cool. Really? Like a big spreadsheet. He had. Yeah. And I, it has each one he took the trip of the year and the, uh, the line he went on and he like, kind of like ranked it. Really? It I wish I had those right now. I could use them, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I gotta find. I had it saved on my Google Cloud, so I could send it to you. Well, he loved he loved doing his, uh, you know, his yeah. uh, sh cruising. I'm I'm not talking about being gay. I'm talking about cruising. As <laughs> no, in, he went on the cruise things in the ship. He liked the food and all that. I used to ask him questions. Can you eat? You can eat whatever you want, twenty four seven. That's oh wow. Yeah, but you know, I what, what do I want to go on a boat to get fat for? You know. Well, he said you would get tired of it after a while. He so asked me, you would just. I mean, it, 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 there's just, I just don't, I don't see the value in being stuck on a boat with a bunch of other people. So I'm, we're looking for cruises. I'm like you, Alex. I wonder if I would get stir crazy. We're looking for Jesus, cruises where, pop, they, Tony. where they you have just, like big boats. You don't even know you're on a boat. You don't see any water know. when you're walking around the concourse and stuff. Mm. All you see is shops. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, you know, I don't want to go on a boat where they're doing Oklahoma. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Uh, you know, it's hard to drive a boat across Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. you got to go on one of those Alaska. Uh, let me diagram that joke for you, just so you can understand. <laughs> Last night, right no I said it, you had a thumbs up. That was cute. Yeah, who who gave him the thumbs up? You, you, you had it popped up in your. Oh, screen. really? Did it? Yeah, it really is. Oh, look yeah, at that. Look that. There you go. I, I, you know, Alex. You had a funny joke one time. I was going to ask you. I remembered it. The only reason why my brother and me were talking about. Uh, remember when you made fun of him singing that song? Uh, when he, my mom used to watch the uh, telethon, Jerry Lewis. Mm -hmm. And you said one time, I had the show on audio tape. I told Phil, I don't know if you realize what you said, Alex. You go like this. All right, so they, you go like this. The only thing worse when he sang the song, the kids were getting worse, not better. <laughs> Wait a minute, if I just hold one up. I mean, I thought it was funny. Yeah. yeah, if I hold yeah. one up. And if yeah. I do this, I think yeah. something happens. 
Kids are getting worse. Right. I was no. Like, oh, man. no, I guess not. Oh, well. That was fun. Let me turn off reactions. I figured out how mm -hmm. to turn this off now. Phil oh, had a, a surgery today, Alan. What? I know. He I had know. his hernia today, Phil. He had a hernia yeah. yesterday. He doesn't yeah, have one yeah. today. Yeah. They yes. Guess, didn't they? <laughs> He yeah. made that poor woman Faye go out. You had to, he, he he told her to go out, Alex, and get him rice pudding. I know. He, told, pudding he, wrote, he wrote me and told me. Told he said the same joke to me, too. Work. Was that a joke? I was like, really? I thought he was telling I was like, are you serious? How was he eating on uh, anesthesia? I was like, I was throwing up. <laughs> I don't know. But, it, but, you know, if he wanted to throw up, he would look at a picture of you. Well, that I, would do it. I threw up on the Let me diagram mm -hmm. that joke, too, okay? I just, I'm just doing this as a service to you people who are listening who say, who's that guy telling stupid jokes? Nobody's even on the chat tonight. It wasn't a joke. Nobody's on the chat, and nobody's hardly watching tonight. You haven't you haven't talked to Phil today, huh, Tony? He messaged me. I asked him how he was doing at 12, and they didn't take him yet. So then they just took him. Uh, yeah, he's out of surgery. He's fine. He's at home. He's eating like a pig. <laughs> I know. We get notes from him. Yeah. I guess Tony doesn't. No, he did. I, I asked him how he was doing, and he didn't get taken yet. Then I said, anything, did you come out? And he said, yeah. So, Because I keep forgetting our time difference. We're New York time, Alex. He's California. Yeah. So There's a forgetting. different time out there in the uh, I know, I keep thinking everybody's on our time, Alex. Like, if it's 12, 4 here, they're on our time. I don't think that's a no. We're yeah. three hours behind. Okay. Did you, anybody send him coffee, by the way? No? No. I, Alan. I have no. You had, have you had no. any tonight, Tony? I had a little bit, actually. Maxwell a House. A little bit. Into the last drop. But Why do you drink that, Maxwell House? Now. What swill? Man, I, 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 I never going to say that. Maxwell House. <laughs> I put it at our Costco. The great. last people I knew that drank Maxwell House was Charlie McCarthy and Edgar Bergen. <laughs> really? Yeah. Go to the last drop. What's the Costco <laughs> one? The red, the Costco red one. Is that what is that one? Oh, that's Folgers. That's Folgers. Folgers. Oh, Folgers. That, that's the one I get. I get that too. It all depends what I'm in the mood for too. Folgers, yeah. go to the last drop. Folgers, Folgers isn't that bad, is it? Yeah. No, no Folgers is actually the best of the cheapos, I think. Yeah. yeah. It goes in me, and then I get to low die, and it comes out of me. So it's like, oh, it's that's too much information. Case. That's just <laughs> way too much information. It's in there for a quick time. It's coming right out. I don't care about the what happens stuff. to you, Ray. Right? It goes in you, and where does it go, Ray? It stays. <laughs> it stays forever. It stays. I don't do that. Tyson Acosta says, "Good to hear that Phil is doing well, and I'm happy." Yeah, too. I'm gonna have yeah. to call Phil. Say yeah. hell, I guess I'm doing. the only one that's talked to him today. So no, I, 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 I've talked to him. You, 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 you uh, talked to him f in talking physically, to him. Physically, yeah, yeah, on physically. the phone, yes. Well, I never talked to him anyway, so. Yeah, same The thing. only time I ever have any kind of relationship with him, for the most part, is on, well, it's got to be by phone. I can't, you know. But anyway, so. California. No, I wished him well yesterday, and he let me know how he did today, and, you know, I'm happy for that. How did he get a hernia? Hernia it just uh, happened suddenly, or was he lifting something? Lifting or? too many rugs. Yeah, uh, <laughs> too many. There it goes. He's <laughs> showing off on his birthday. Remember doing those deadlifts? I've got. Yeah, a, that might have did it, bro. I didn't. That's what I mean, happened. For a guy his age, he should not be doing deadlifts at his age, like with heavy weights. I said the same thing, right? I thought that was dangerous. Well, I, I mean, uh, if you I did have, it with I, lightweight, I have what's it need to do that in real life? I have a hernia, but it doesn't bother me. So, you know. I did too. A lot of people have hernias. Yeah, I have one in my stomach. Really? Like at the top. Yeah, it's like a hernia right below my sternum. That's, I, that's sternum. called a hiatal hernia, I think. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. and like if I do sit-ups, it all my guts like pop through. Oh, the really? oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> show. Well, we just lost should, ten people listening. Hey, go back to Alan's jokes instead of uh, Ray describing his hernia. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, we got four more right. actually. We got four place. more people after that. Oh, really? Uh -huh, you yeah. went from twenty-six to thirty. Oh, okay. Wow. The joke. Well, they're expecting to see Santa, and yeah. instead we get the Kmart version here. Yeah. Hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where is Santa? He's not here. Well, right? get, uh, mm -hmm. You're gonna Maybe go get him, dressed. Tony? Are you? Oh my God! We get a cup of tea. No, Tony's gonna do. He's going, to get more He's going to get more caffeine. <laughs> tea, tea. Hmm. 
Anyway. So, what does Charlie's shirt say today? The Earth's rotation really makes my day. Yeah. Oh wow, oh, well, that's I sad. See. Okay. That that's one <laughs> that one you don't have to, that one you don't have to be really smart to understand. <laughs> Could you diagram that for us, please? <laughs> what is the definition of a day? Ooh. It's one rotation, rotation of the Earth. Of the Earth. Exactly. Wow. I get it now. Okay. A rotation of the Earth is a day. What oh. is a year? Actually, I can't believe like nobody here minutes. knows the answer to that. Isn't one. it like nine Listen, minutes it's off? It's or a, something? No, a year is the one revolution of the Earth around the sun. Yes. Well, except we have to do the, the leap year, so it's not exactly that. No, no the I reason have... for that is is that actually it, it doesn't take 365 days to go around the, uh, around the sun. It takes 365 and a quarter days. Right. So every four for years that. we add a day in order to make sure that we make up for it. But, there's but an every evening. 400 years we don't have a leap year because it's not really... 365 and a quarter is 365 and 0.22. Oh, my God. So they actually, at 400 years, Every they don't Every 400 have... years, there was not a leap year in the year 2000. Every 400 years, 1,600, 1,200. I remember that. Did we have one in 2000? <laughs> no, we didn't. No, Every 400, and then 2,400, there won't be a leap year either. But 2,000, we didn't have a leap year. You know, because it wasn't track. exactly a quarter. Hmm. No, it's not exactly a quarter. It's 0. 0.22 instead of 0. 0.25. Yeah. Hey, Charlie, That's did you mean. use those as pickup lines to any women? And did they, like, melt in your arms because of all that knowledge? Hey, I invited one girl up to see my 8-inch telescope, and she came up. Oh. <laughs> Too bad you didn't have a 12-incher. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Ray, you took my the words out of my mouth. Can I get all these dirty jokes out before Adrian comes in for Santa? Okay? Boy, am I, wouldn't am, get that. am I gonna am I, am I gonna have to die? You might not have come up, Ray. Boy, am I gonna have to diagram a lot of jokes tonight. Yeah. I think Tony passed out. I think so. He went to the uh, coffee maker and he wanted to go. Did he go to get more coffee? Is that what he yeah, did? He he oh, God. Coffee. Well, he had to release the first 10 cups and then he's getting some <laughs> more. Like uh, Brian does when he gets yeah, the road he, eye. He did, Brian, through the power of suggestion, <laughs> caused Tony to head for the, the loo. The <laughs> loo. Yeah. The WC. Uh, oh, if man. I can remember correctly. Yes. <laughs> Hebrew has every seven years. They had another month. Is that to it? To create wow. the time. Hmm. Okay. But would you do that every seven years? I don't know if that a month. Every seven years they make they had one month. Well, so how, month how, well also a, 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 how's the calendar? Because is it like maybe every month has the same amount of days? I think that's got to be it. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be it. I think that's it. it. Yeah. Every month is 30 days or 29 days or something. So that's why. Well, haven't we, haven't we suggested that, that what we do is, uh, is that we, um, um, we do that, you know, we, we make every month exactly the same. And, and then, then you just have a week then, or something then, at the end of the no, year. I think at the end of the year, you have a day, don't you? A full day. Well, yeah. Or something like that. And that the, you would make that kind of like Earth Day or something like that, you know. And, and then it would all equal out very easily. Because it is ridiculous yeah. having one month being 21 days, another month be 20, uh, th be 30 days, and, you know, yeah. then be 29 yeah, days. Or February, and, only get 20 days. February, yeah. Yeah. But the, the, um, the sun and the moon really work correctly for themselves well they never like, yeah they never fall apart but we don't <laughs> correct it but we don't correct it yeah okay hey you know what i just thought of if if we if we occupy mars they're gonna have to have their own um 
calendar up there. Oh wow. yeah. Well, they already do. Because it's twenty-seven hours and, and twenty-four hours and thirty-seven minutes. Is the so they'll have to keep track of their calendar it, and it, ours. Is it twenty? What twenty-four hours and how many minutes? And thirty-seven minutes. It's 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 about uh, it, it's about. Uh, so its rotation is almost the same as ours. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, but going yeah. around the sun takes it two years as opposed to Thanks. one, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. So it's a year both, on yeah. Mars would be the equivalent of two years on Earth. Yeah. How do how do I? You're surprised I know this, aren't you? Don't you? Aren't you yeah, you like didn't take physics. physics. I barely remember it. You were a science teacher. What? No, I was I was very big into, uh, into like astronomy and so on. Oh yeah, you were moon rocks. Yeah, they, yeah, you were really into space. I, I can name all the uh, all the uh, planets in order, except when I get to Uranus and Neptune, I always get them flip flopped. But they're in alphabet alphabetical order, aren't they? Or are they, are they in the opposite? Uh -huh. Neptune, Uranus, Uranus, Neptune. And uh, Uranus is first. Yes. Uh, Uranus is first. Is further. Okay. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> so it's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Uranus, Neptune, and uh, I. It used to be Pluto, and, and I time. always add Pluto because I yeah. I don't care what Tyson says. Yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Go back to making your goddamn chicken, okay? Uh, you know, I mean, I that that pissed me off because to every kid, what's their favorite favorite? I always think of Pluto because uh, Disney Pluto. World. Pluto. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's Pluto. a dog from Disney. Pluto. Yeah. yeah. I always think I want to hug him. Yeah. Then <laughs> we got to take it away from you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. So, you know. Let me have some. So, officially, Pluto is not a planet now? Nope. Well, they're beginning to question that again, aren't they? Ah, geez. Because, they're, because they're finding out some things about Pluto that actually might be pretty good. Like, a, it might be a planet we could actually live on. Well, too well, they think under the surface there's liquid water. Yeah. We could send Trump there. there for a year and see if we can survive. Oh, we got well. Thanks for doing a Trump joke tonight, he boy. Loves the Trump. We've He's been a... waiting for that one. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the ramble without a uh, Trump joke from Alan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway. You got to squeeze one in somehow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, or squeeze one out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah no. exactly. Brian doesn't load I. So what are you guys doing for Christmas? Anything? I, I want to find out what the Gentiles do for Christmas. You go, you don't have to get in on this. Chinese guess. food. Huh? Yeah, that's good. Chinese food. Chinese food? Isn't that what Jewish people do on Christmas? Uh, I, yeah, well, that's one there. thing we can do. Yeah. The other yeah. is, uh, you know, we, we do all kinds of stuff. Movies. I was thinking pizza myself. Pizza? I mean, I'm going by my sister. Yeah. She's not... I'm making crab cappino. You're making crab cappino. Can the I come? Yeah. Crab. Wow. No, with live crab. Were you Today getting... we were discussing who's going to kill the poor things. <laughs> yeah. um, well, uh, she's a throw. well, you're not. You're not getting the uh, local crabs. That's for sure. Well, it may not be Santa, ladies and gentlemen, but it is Don Giller. Hello, Don. <laughs> Here, he'll hear us in a second. Hi, Don. Oh, he's on mute. Yeah. He's on mute. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I, we, can um, hear, we can hear you. There, there was a February 29th in 2000. Oh, there was a uh, February 29th in 2000? Yes. Okay. Uh, I believe Don Giller. Uh, sorry. You know? I mean, Giller's a savant. I'm also yeah. looking at a 2000 calendar. <laughs> <laughs> you have a 2000 what calendar? What kind of savant is that? Wow. <laughs> Well, of course. I thought savants didn't look at calendars. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I to believe that you're one of those people that saves all your calendars? Hello? Really? It must be. I keep doing it, yeah. Let's see. Uh, 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 let's Whoa. see. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't really. There we go. Maybe it was a typo on the calendar. Oh, yeah, there is. There's February. God damn it. Charlie's Googling it. Well, um, no, I'm Googling. There's something we're going to okay. Greg Gordon calendar. And okay, see what everybody. Hey, stand 2000 by. 2000 was Y2K. Stand by. Up. It's that important moment of our Christmas show. Here we go. There we go. Let's see. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Come here. Oh, 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 o
Ho, ho, ho. Wait a minute, Santa, what were you drinking? Nothing. (laughs) (laughs) That's my kind of Santa. Yep. I wasn't, I wasn't drinking anything. No. Bad no. Santa. No. This is a, this is our uh, a, a Santa a few days early. Yeah, it's not too he's, call, he's calling from the North Pole, which looks very much like Kevin's. Can oh. I ask Santa a question? It's darker though. Yeah, what? But you want to ask Santa a question? Yeah, Santa, how come I didn't get the Atari twenty six hundred nineteen seventy eight? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I can't remember yesterday, let alone that. Okay. I'll Maybe this go. is not the Santa you want your kid to see. <laughs> is she out there? Huh? Uh, you're long you, as brought to you by 5150 Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It smells like liquor. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey Santa, up. Santa, knock off the drinking. The kid's here. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing, little girl? She's now pointing. I know how to get the gift. You got to give me. Pointing to Don't your. Backwards. Your, backwards. Your, <laughs> pointing to your name. I had it backwards. Every hundred years, there's not a leap year, but every four hundred years, they do have a leap year. Oh. So it's like 1900. If you Don, check me out on this. 1900 was not a leap year. 1800. Yes, was check not your a leap old year. calendar. He, he doesn't. Yeah, get your 1900 calendar that you saved. I mean, that be with that. They had to make up for the fact that the Santa not looks exact. really confused about now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't worry about what, calendar. What does her T-shirt say? Santa. So every other 400 years. Santa. Yeah, every, every hundred Santa, years. Santa. Santa. Believes in me. Believes in me. Oh, that's good. I like that's that true. one. And look, yeah. Santa's here just for you, Adrian. That's the real <laughs> Santa, too. <laughs> well, that <laughs> impressed her. <laughs> that can't. Huh? Yeah, that's Santa. Uh, Santa. He Alex knows a lot of people. He, Alex was a big shot once before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Santa. <laughs> no. I'm Santa. Hi, Santa. We're all Santa. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Santa doesn't have that room. That's not his workshop. <laughs> what? Okay, he, bye. He doesn't have what? <laughs> what did she say? I don't know. She's looking at your background. background. <laughs> that's by his workshop. Yeah, that's his workshop. That's his workshop. <laughs> look, he's got all this uh, stuff there. See, he's, he's really busy. Toys hey, there. Don't, yeah. don't look at my workshop. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 1900 did not have a leap year. Leap day. Yep. Leap, 1900 did not have a leap day. No. Da, 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 da. I'm going to study astronomy for nine years. Give me a break. But I just didn't remember because that was 50 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> 1900 was 50 years ago. And, and you wonder. Pluto yeah. was still a planet 50 years ago. You know, yeah, I used to be able to actually say how far each planet was from the sun. Okay. Yeah. But I think I can only go as far as, um, let's see, Mars is 144, right? Although it changes. But, uh, well, yeah, because it's an elliptical orbit. Yeah. And, but uh, Earth isn't always 93 million because it's elliptical, just not as much as Mars. Yeah. So, How, so are you still saying it's 400 years every 400 years? No, well, what I'm saying is every, every 100 years they had to drop a leap year to make up for the fact that it's not exactly a quarter of a day. Go ahead, okay. Adrian, and ask Santa for what you want for a gift. But every 400 years, they add the leap year back in. Don't worry about all this leap year stuff. Adrian's going to ask yeah, It's Santa much more important that she asks Santa for something. What do you want Santa to bring you, Adrian? I hear it's... I hear it's a um, secret. You can't say it out loud. Hey, you got to say. I already have a Christmas list. I'll just know. Okay, what's on your Christmas list? I'm not telling. You're not telling. You better say something. An okay. Apple Watch. I already know. Skin product. You already know. What do you know? <laughs> Santa knows already what you want. What do, okay. what do you she want, Santa? I'm not saying. No. She doesn't no. want to say. I'm not saying. She, she wants when you're sleeping. Skin you care stuff. Because her skin is so terrible. Yeah, look at that skin. I mean, <laughs> God. You know, she's been drinking hard for an eight-year-old, hasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Alex, too. She's nine. She's eight. If you cannot talk to Santa, then you're out of here. She's eight, right? Hey, stop. What are you doing? (laughs) 
Oh my god. Okay, get out then. Get out. No. Say bye, Santa. Remember when bye, Santa? Bye, Santa. <laughs> what did she say? Bye, 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 fake, Santa. Santa. bye fake Santa. Bye, I fake talk, Santa. When is Santa's Well, we sir. You know, how do you know he's the fake oh, Santa? He may be the there. real fake Santa, and you just ticked him off. Yeah, I'm going to get nothing. <laughs> no skin no products for no you. No presents for you in two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, so say goodnight. So he's the fake Santa. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Good night. Say good night, Gracie. Alan won't Not, bring you anything. Wait, you know Nazi something? Do you, you remember the times when she would sit on your lap and it didn't hurt? You know, <laughs> but she's getting heavier and heavier, isn't she? Yeah. No, she's Alex. She's she's up to my nipple. She's she's that tall. Santa. She's that tall. That's a weird way to measure somebody, Brian. Kind of the same every day. Kind of put me into shock. Shocked me. Well, she, my yeah. chest. How's that? My chest. Well, better, you're, 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 my center chest indicator. <laughs> See, you can't you can't tell by by him on the show. It'll but, be bad but, if you start marking it with a. But Brian, a how tall are you? You're five four, five four a uh, six four. Yeah, I'm 6'4". 6'4"? Yes. Six, four. Six, four. Yeah. Oh, Me? Yeah. Oh, yes. wow. Oh, yeah. Do you fit in yeah. your McLaren? Do you fit in there very well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my head sticks out the top. Hey, go. Get out of here. Your head sticks out the top. Yeah, yeah I figured. Don't let her stick around. It's Christmas. Well, that's well, where he, that's how he gets that hairstyle, hairstyle, Ray. What? <laughs> I see. She wants me to go downstairs with her to fix her stuff. So. Really? Yes. Wait 15 minutes, huh? Okay. No, no, she's gonna wait 15 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have your son take a break I, and fix her some food. She's uh, playing some video games. Oh yeah, you don't you, you don't have a teenager. Get the attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, no, you never fix your little it. sister <laughs> some food. He's gonna get a shock. He's gonna get a shock in two months when I start giving a bill for the internet, for the water, for the sewer, everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're uh, by the way, I think we're going to do a show on uh, Monday, on the oh, early so show. Nice. The early mm, show. I'll tell you where I am on four o'clock Monday. Huh? Day. Tell you where I'll be at four o'clock on Christmas Day. Oh, Dallas. <laughs> no, I will be on. Oh, sorry. My, they're playing the Dolphin oh. Show this week. No, he's going to come do my show on. Oh, the, sorry. Yeah. The one Are you you're talking about the afternoon one or the evening one? The, the afternoon one. The afternoon is Monday at four p.m. Eastern. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 1 p.m. here. Yeah. Yeah. So how you doing, Geller? Mm -hmm. Any projects yeah. going? He's trying um, to figure out the calendar. Yeah, no, I, I, I was, I was uh, reaffirming what Charlie had, had said. Had said. Um, uh, 1600, there was a leap day. 1700, 1800, 1900, there was no leap day. 2000, yeah. there was a leap day. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't yeah. quite understand what you are saying until I... 100 years. Yeah. I yeah. had it backwards in my mind. I, was, I had it reversed. So, yeah. Wow. I was going back to the planet yeah. distances. I wanted to yeah. know how far now, your head now, was from now, Uranus. Now, we were asking people earlier, uh, Geller, uh, <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you did you go to college? <laughs> Who? Are you asking me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. What did you study in college? Uh, music. At first, I would, at first I studied, uh, uh, or, or I was interested in radio production, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I realized it, that wasn't uh, the, the, the place to, the way to go. So I went to music. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. And Santa, did you go to college? Nope. Santa's <laughs> <Yeah, it's> drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun Santa. <laughs> nope. uh, I drove a truck instead. Really? Oh, okay. All right. You mean it's bizarre, Santa? Yeah. But, uh, so what? So did you ever get into radio production at all, uh, Don? Or did you? Uh, yeah, yeah. In fact, I, I was in 1970. I was in. I I, I went to Antioch in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Um. And there was a, I was invited to a, a radiophonic workshop at WHA in Madison. Oh, wow. Um, uh, uh, for two weeks. Um, it was in 1970. Yeah. Uh, the 71. I think it. <laughs> what? 
uh, it, it was an acid trip at the end of 71. Oh, that, geez. Uh, <laughs> wow, I didn't say that. He was, he was really in Antioch, California. <laughs> you didn't know. Um, but it was the only one I ever took. I never took it again, never wanted to take it again. But it sort of cleared the senses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I joined this chorus uh, the following winter, 72, mm -hmm. and kind of fell in love with this composer that, that we were singing. And then and, and, uh, sort of cemented a, a collaboration I had with a, with a, with a, a fellow student uh, playing and, and writing music together, and it seemed that that was the way to go. Oh boy! And did you write a lot of music? Uh, I I either co-wrote or or molded my friends' compositions. Um, yeah, no, I I, I we, in fact we, we put up uh, uh, around thirteen videos on on my YouTube channel. Oh, oh, oh. We had, we put out a CD in two thousand in uh, two thousand six. Are these any songs we might have heard of? Oh, yo, how could you not? What do you mean? <laughs> Weird. Well, I heard that one song was pretty good. You guys, it was more. Was it more acoustic? You guys, I wish I remember you put something up. I thought it was just acoustic. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I mean, we started acoustic, uh, uh, sort of a, a, a Leo Kotke in stereo. Um, oh, wow. oh, okay. And. Uh, 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 which do you remember what song or, or I forgot what it was. It was it was one of your early ones. I actually thought it was pretty. I'm telling you, I liked it. I mean, you wow. you guys can Only definitely play. Only you know, I heard. would have the song. What do I know? I mean, but I I liked it. <laughs> well, that's nice. I'm being that's honest. Nice to hear. Yeah. But anyway, listen. Uh, uh, oh, I was going to ask Don a question. Can I ask Don? Don, were you a big fan? I was just curious to ask you this. Like, I said, were you a big fan of Simon and Garfunkel? I know you like John Lennon, of course. I just wonder what you thought of Simon and Garfunkel. Their work. I mean, I, I, I'm a child of the '60s, um, and and they were popular. I mean, I, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I I can't say I was a super fan, um, but but sure. Um, there's a. In fact, I I put up on on my channel uh, two versions of America. Um, oh really? One performed by Simon and Garfunkel in I think 2003 on Late Show, and then a cover by uh, uh, First Aid Kit around uh, 12, 13 years later, also on, on Late Show. Well, you know, there um, was a thing that used to happen in radio, okay, mm -hmm. where if you played a record before somebody else did and it became a hit in your area, you were the guy that broke the record. Yeah, it was WBZ right. in Boston, uh, Sounds of Silence. Uh, I, believe it really? was, I believe it was me in Houston, Texas. When? Do you remember when? Mm -hmm. Uh, we were we weren't playing. You ready for this? We weren't playing the version that got released later on that became a hit. We you were playing. playing the the we were playing, playing the acoustic version. Yeah, Ooh. it's the same version. It's just they added right. what bass and drums, something and, like and, that. And and Simon and Garfunkel, they were in London, and they had they didn't even know that 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 the track had been overdubbed. Oh, really? And they came back and they're realizing they've got a number one hit. They had really nothing to do with but, it. But it had been released. In fact, if you go and get Wednesday 3 a.m., the album. I have it. Yeah, but it wasn't released well, as the a version single, on the album is the version that's acoustic. Right. But it was. But that was never released as a single. That's 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 the only way we could hear it from the album. But well, they actually released it as a single that way, Yeah, too. well, they released the, the, the electric version as a single. Or at no, least Columbia they, did. No, they, they later released it. They they had originally released it acoustic, because I remember having that record. As a single? Yeah. And then... Uh, I still they, have it. Huh? I have, I the, record, have, I have the vinyl. It. You still have which one? Wednesday 3 a.m.? I have, I have every Simon and Garfunkel album. Really? Yeah, they're great. You're the one, huh? Them, yeah. 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 Oh, I like them too. Yeah. The the friend who uh, uh, there uh, when we when we had the CD mastered, I took it to someone uh, in the city, and he has his own home studio, and 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 people, famous people come to his studio to do whatever they do, and one night he the, he had Simon and Garfunkel. This is oh, like wow. maybe maybe wow. ten twelve years ago, and. They needed to know if the song was "Sound of Silence" or "Sounds of Silence." They don't. They didn't remember if it was. I think it's "Sound of Silence," isn't it? Yeah, yeah but, but they didn't remember. Sound of Silence. They yeah. didn't remember. They didn't remember. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, then when they were singing it, what do they sing? Sounds of Silence? Yeah, well, they hadn't sung it in decades at the time. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Sounds of Silence. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Don, what what's where do we find these songs on YouTube? Are they still there? Um, yeah, they're they're, they're on my YouTube channel. Just just uh, which is my name, Don Giller. Don Giller. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. I'm looking. You'll at have to. You'll have channel, to get uh, through all the all the Letterman stuff. But you know. oh, I see. The, oh, it's below the Letterman <laughs> stuff. Okay. Well, it, uh, actually, there's a playlist on. on oh, the okay. Channel. Okay. All right. I'll look over there. Yeah. Um. Music. Oh, okay. Music by Tad Lathrop and Don Giller. Yeah, there it is. Right. Oh, cool. I'm wow, I'm going to have to go listen. If I ever have insomnia, that's that. I'm going to have I love the What did you say? I'm down. Uh, Jeff's drinking. I should drink, too. I got my food. He's drinking. I thought you were not supposed to be drinking. I'll, I'll, I'll join you. Here we go. I didn't hear anybody say, hi, Bob. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, how you doing, Santa? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Almost done. <laughs> almost done. Well, I can't finish this bottle on my own, Sam. Uh, yeah. Well, anybody, I don't have any booze, so we need Scott here. <laughs> oh, God forbid. Yeah, right. What? what uh, uh, tell, Santa, uh, tell Santa. Uh, 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 tell Santa. Uh, uh, Tony, uh, what you want for Christmas? Uh, everybody to have a happy, healthy day in New Year. Ooh. Oh, isn't that sweet? And me hit the lotto. <laughs> I'm joking. What? <laughs> a, a, a nice, quiet. How about Trump loses? Really? How about Trump dies in his well, sleep? Wait, really? That would be nice. <laughs> where did that come from? I can't we stand it. We were having anymore. Christmas cheer I know, I, here. Right, I blame Santa? Alan for the Trump joke. Oh God, I can't take this guy anymore. I know. I don't know what happened. Just Can I out. just tell you, we're trying to do this nice. We're trying to have a nice. You're right, and I ruined the whole thing. Mellow, you know. <laughs> I know. Christmas here. Well, with any luck, you'll have snow. Well, that would be nice. No, I, I don't think Christmas. we're going to have snow here. No, I know. I would love a white Christmas. Bad storm there. It's been cold and what? Didn't you have a? I thought the weather report reported a bad storm. It has been cold, Alex. You're right. Echo, what's the, the weather, weather forecast for Christmas? Christmas? Here's the forecast for Monday, December 25th. Look for lots of clouds with a high of 51 degrees. 51 degrees. Wow. Hard and the low of 40 degrees. Oh, Hardly looks to me like snow. Although no. Wednesday it looks like there might be some snow. I don't know, but anyway. I like the dust. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Santa got it wrong again. What? <laughs> Nothing. What got it wrong again? Let's have a drink. To, uh, <laughs> well, what, are you, are you guys all going to get drunk and then go over and bother Amy? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Why not? Maybe the jokes will get better. Is, is this the show you plan for tonight, Josh? Uh, I figured it would be light. It's the last day before the holiday one yeah no well, we're taking well, off i wish everybody has a good christmas well we're taking off next week Merry Christmas. and who who knows if we'll ever return <laughs> but we'll try to and we on like, monday we yeah, will do a show on monday uh the mm -hmm. monday show in spite of the fact that it's christmas and then uh the following week on a new year uh, which is a Monday. We won't do the four o'clock show, but we'll do it at eleven o'clock at night. Okay. Mm -hmm. On New Year's Eve. On right? New Year's Eve. Yeah. But at least oh, New Year's eleven Eve. Eleven o'clock at night. Your time is a different time than okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, but you know. Because we're gonna ring in the New Year right. at midnight. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. on mute. Eight New Year's Eve is on Sunday, so you're doing it Sunday oh, night on Monday. Oh, excuse night. me, Sunday yeah, night. You're absolutely thing, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday night. I forgot. Whoa, yes, that Sunday better night. give us the code or something if we're He's doing the show by ourselves. Yeah, Don Giller calendar. Yeah, don't look at 1900. Okay, so we're not going to do what the one on Monday, it, New Year's, New Year's Day. Eve we're on Mars. New Year's what Eve. night is it New Year's Eve on Mars? <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll have to go to uh, um, um, our friend uh, J Charlie for that. Uh, yeah. Hey, thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here all year. Sunday. Same thing to Charlie, and same thing Brought to Brought to you by 5150 Zakila. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Jeff Stein. <laughs> Thank you to Alan for being with us. Uh, uh, Walmart Santa. Thank you for being with us, Tony. <laughs> better known as Ray. 
Thanks for being with us, Don. Great having you call. Jeez, wonderful. Hey, thanks. I, I can't find anything on on the on the acoustic single. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, bummer. Well, 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 I believe you, but I can't find anything. Yeah. Anyway, and and of course the lovely and attractive Santa. Sometimes everyone known. have a wonderful Christmas. Merry yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's, he's loaded. Oh. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel, and uh, that's our show for this year. We'll see you again uh, next year, I guess, maybe, if you're lucky, if I feel like it. In the meantime, stay tuned for Amy Emanuel with her last show of the year. Gee, she's only had a couple of weeks of shows so far. Uh, and then uh, she'll, uh, uh, she'll be taking your calls at, uh, on uh, Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again uh, when? Well, I guess we'll see you on Monday for the pop-up show. And uh, we'll see you sporadically through that week. That's it. See you. Have a nice holiday, everybody. And take care of yourself and don't get too drunk, okay? Goodbye. And if you see her, tell her I love her. I almost forgot to say it. She'd kill me if I didn't. Wow. <laughs>